morning everybody it is 8 30 and i've actually been awake since like 7 30 i have actually already been out and about i went to go get coffee and then i went to shoppers drug mart to buy my mom a mother's day gifts because it's mother's day tomorrow but i'm seeing my mom today and i saw these really cute like garden statue things i'll show you guys in a second so i went and bought those and i'm getting ready for the day because i'm going home today i'm going to the farm today which i'm very very excited about i haven't been home since easter i guess so it hasn't been that long but it feels quite long we weren't actually going to do anything for mother's day because my parents are in the field seating right now but i really really needed to go home i just needed to go home mentally i wasn't feeling good last week i kind of basically had a breakdown and i was crying and i realized that i need to go home and i need to be with mother nature this might sound kind of dumb but i feel like the farm and that mother nature is different than city mother nature you know because i could just go in my backyard and like sit down on the grass or whatever but i feel like it's so different than the mother nature at the farm because you know that's more peaceful and relaxing and here you're just going to hear vehicles the entire time the older i get the more i miss being at the farm and just being in complete like silence and just with nature so i'm just gonna go for a majority of the day i'm not gonna sleep over anything but i'll probably vlog this whole weekend because i do want to do some reading i'll probably talk about my reading when i get back home today just because i kind of have to do some stuff before i leave yeah i'm really excited to go home it's also supposed to be a very very nice day so that's great so this is what i got my mom for mother's day so these are the two like garden statue things so i got these from shoppers i had seen them like maybe a couple weeks ago and i had sent my mom a photo and i was like oh these are so cute and she's she agreed and she said she might go buy one and i asked her the other day if she ended up buying one and she said no so i went and bought her these two because i couldn't decide i thought they were both so cute they were a little pricey, but they have like lights in them. So we have like this little gnome house. It's so cute. And apparently it's supposed to like light up on the inside or something because it has like this, um, what is this called? Like UV thing. So yeah, I got this one because I thought it was so cute. And then my mom loves hummingbirds she absolutely loves them we always have some around the farm and so i got her this one because it made me think of her right away and these little flowers are supposed to also light up with the sun so yeah this is what i bought my mom for mother's day okay so this is my outfit that i'm wearing to go home it's just very basic like i said earlier it's supposed to be really really nice out today so i am bringing a change of clothes i'm gonna bring like a gray little short jumpsuit that I have, but I'm freezing right now. So I'm just wearing jeans. I have this uh, Def Leppard graphic tee that I've had forever. And then I'm just wearing a gray sweater and I have these really cute like daisies or flower earrings. They're just so cute and I'm obsessed with them and I felt like wearing them today and I feel like they kind of go with my outfit. So yeah, this is basically all that I'm wearing and then I'm just gonna wear my vans and that's my outfit to go home
Are there any cats in here? No me news.
It's currently around 8.30 and I pretty much just got home. And honestly, I am very happy to be home, but it was so nice to be at the farm today. It was exactly what I needed. I just feel so much better now and happier and at peace. So yeah, it was honestly a very nice little day trip. I'm going to discuss my reading in a minute but I ended up coming home with four leather jackets. So I got all of these leather jackets from my parents. They're mainly my mom's except for one but I have been wanting to get more jackets and I actually had like a list of jackets I wanted to look for on my little weekend trip that I'm doing with my friends at the beginning of June but now I don't have to look for jackets because I have the ones the main one that I wanted I feel like every time I go home I end up coming back to my house with more things like I always bring something home with me which is kind of funny so I guess I'll show you the one jacket that I saw in the closet these are all jackets that like my mom does not wear anymore or that don't fit her I've been wanting a very like oversized black leather jacket and I got one. Oh, I don't even think there's like a brand on this. It doesn't look like it anyways, but it's just like, I mean, it doesn't fully look black. It's like a brownish black, but I'm pretty sure it's like real leather. There's no label on it, I don't think, but it is very, very oversized and I'm so excited to wear this. I guess I'll kind of show you maybe over here. I did change also from going to the farm. I got very hot so I changed. Look at how massive this is. How perfect it is. This is like, I mean it's a little too big but I honestly love it. I feel like it's the perfect like oversized vibe i feel like this with jeans and like a basic t-shirt i think will look amazing and i'm very very excited i just think this is amazing i believe this is actually my uncle's and my parents just had it and i'm so happy and excited because this is exactly what i was going to be on the hunt for and i'm so happy i found one lou what are you crying for and then the other jacket is just this orange one which is kind of random but i just thought it was so different and it has kind of like cuffs on the bottom and on the sleeves so yeah this one's definitely random but i think i could make something work with it and this one is definitely not as oversized like i feel like this is a little bit more fitted and smaller and then this other one is just Kind of like a red fitted jacket. Oh, for a second I thought it had a zipper, but it just has buttons and then a tie on it. This one is definitely way more fitted. And I can tie it and button it up. I just think this one is so cute. It's just so nice and like good quality and it has like a nice kind of front. I feel like I could really make this work. So this next one, I guess I should have said the other labels. I'll grab them in a second. But this last one is BFC. That's the brand, I guess. I believe my mom might have got this in Montreal. So this one's a little bit longer than the other ones. It's definitely still a little oversized, but I feel like this is perfect. I just really, really like it. I'm obsessed with all these jackets. I don't have very many jackets which is weird because I live in Canada where I get all four seasons and it's just weird that I don't really own jackets so I'm glad this is like adding to my collection and I'm actually really happy I have leather jackets and like real nice ones. This red jacket is Victoria Leather. It's made in Canada. This is like the brand on it. And then the orange one is also Victoria Leather. So those two jackets are from the same company, which is cool. So 
yeah, very happy with my jackets. Okay, so I'm finally going to talk about what I'm currently reading at the moment and what I guess has been going on reading wise. So I did start Kingdom of the Feared by Karen Maniscalco and I am currently 174 pages in. I guess I was about to start chapter 13, but honestly, I'm thinking about DNFing this. I just am so bored. I don't really care anymore. I thought I cared enough to continue the series and finish, but I'm, you know, like almost halfway and I don't care. I'm just bored. I've been reading this for over a week now and i'm just not that interested so i might just put it down and pick something else up and then i might return back to this or am i just completely dnf it i don't know but for right now i'm not going to continue it i don't think i've ever dnf'd a book like fully dnf'd it and like have actually said no i'm not going to read it anymore because i always have it in my mind that i could go back to it but I think I'm pretty certain I won't be continuing this, but we'll see. We'll see. A book I am very much enjoying and have kind of a long story with, I guess, is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. First of all, can we just acknowledge my cute little cat bookmark? One of my best friends got this for me for Christmas. It's just so cute. I don't really know what the proper etiquette is regarding Harry Potter. Like, do I talk about the series? Do I not? I don't really know because obviously I don't support the author and her comments and all of the hateful and harmful things that she's said over the years. Like, obviously I don't support that whatsoever, but I've never fully read the Harry Potter series. I have read the first three books and that was like years and years ago that I don't even remember but I never completed the series like I never continued I stopped after Prisoner of Azkaban I grew up on the movies I saw the movies with my family every single year and I absolutely loved the movies and I knew at some point in my life that I wanted to read the series and I guess reignite my love for the series through the books and I know there's so much more context and history and characters through the books so i've decided to finally finally read the series i don't think i will be talking about the series on my channel very much i will probably just mention them in my wrap-ups and stuff but i probably won't go super in detail about it because i know a lot of people get very i guess triggered when talking about this series because of the author which i totally understand and i understand if you don't want to watch me talk about the series or like casually occasionally mention it. I think I mentioned in one of my book calls, it might have been my birthday book haul, how I was over putting off books and series that I've been meaning to read for years and this is obviously one of them. My goal is to read one a month. I'm not going to be, you know, reading it like crazy. I'm just going to hopefully read one a month, kind of take my time with it, read it very slowly. I bought this box set edition from Costco. I have the whole box set. I bought it back in like 2016 or something like that. So I've had the box set for years and I just haven't read them. But this is finally the year that I'm going to read the entire Harry Potter series. I'm excited, but I know it's very daunting. I definitely know the movies by heart. Like I almost have them all memorized. So reading the book is so interesting because i'm like oh they changed that in the movie or they changed this it's just so interesting there's like a new level and a new appreciation for the movie but also for the book and i don't know i'm loving this experience i really want to read this series but i'm also very aware of how harmful i guess it could be i really just don't want to hurt anybody's feelings if i talk about this series or if i like casually mention that I'm reading the series. I also kind of just wanted to explain why I'm finally reading the series. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been reading for like the last week, week and a half. I am planning on picking up some romance finally. I feel like it's been over a month since I've read some real romance books. I think I'm either going to read the new Ella Mays book, which is I actually don't even remember what it's called. That's embarrassing because that was one of my most anticipated reads of the year. Charlie Love and cliches. 
that is the new LMA's book. I think I'm gonna read that, which is on my Kindle, which I haven't read on my Kindle in probably over a month. Like it's been a really long time since I've read a book on my Kindle. Or I'm gonna pick up the new Melanie Harlow book, which is Runaway Love. I do have King of Wrath, which I'm low-key really interested in, but those are probably the three romances that I'm gonna pick up in the next couple of days. I think that is it for this vlog. I am gonna vlog tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna keep these two vlogs separate just because I don't want like a really, really long vlog. So I think I'll do two separate vlogs, but that is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know how much I really filmed at the farm, but I hope it was something. I feel like I filmed a lot of the scenery and the cats and that was kind of it, but I honestly had such a great time. It was so peaceful and I definitely have some mosquito bites. I'm now like itching my arms and my legs. So I definitely got bit, but it was so nice to be outside and to read in the peace and quiet. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.